Sandra and I are going to show you what comes with the Rapid Survival System Model W, W standing for Whitewater. This kit comes with a belt and the basic gear to mount with a kayak, PFD, another PFD, fishing, waders, what have you. It comes with two sets of cylinders to deploy. Um, one set is actually in here right now. Two sets of clips and a belt. It's a bit different than other belts. This belt has a few features in it that's designed specifically for the RSS that I'll explain in a moment here. First thing we do when we're going to mount this belt with the Model W system is that we want to make sure that we're going to put it on the right side of the PFD. This one is mounted for the right side. So the pull tether is mounted to the front and the connection tether is to the back. We just want to make sure that we're going to mount it in the right spot so it'll be on that side and we're going to mount the RSS to this belt. Uh, some of the features with this particular belt that's made for the RSS is, is that when we put it on a larger person like me or a smaller person like Sandra, we don't want the bag to come all the way around to the front. We want to mount it right on the side of the hip so it's not really in our way if we're climbing over rocks, logs, or getting in and out of uh, rafts. So we have this, this square buckle sewn to the inside to keep the bag from rotating forward on the belt itself. So it's a bit of a stopper. Okay. We've also created this rubberized lining on the inside of the belt. This rubberized lining is very important because when we wear the RSS on our hip, if the belt is against a uh, skin, a uh, swimsuit, or even a dry suit, if it's not on tight enough, when I jerk the tether, I don't want the bag to rotate around my hips. I want to make sure that I can deploy that manual inflator good and hard. The rubber lining is there so that when it's held tightly against the person, when I jerk on that tether, it doesn't rotate the bag around on my body. Okay, we want that tether to deploy, not to move the bag. So we've got that rigged up for the right side, Sandra. Mm -hmm. You can just hold that on your hip. And we'll put it on there for you. We will put it in there though to increase the friction on the buckle. We'll get that on, so hold it right to your hip. Get that nice and tight. So that rubber we put on the inside, as you can see, we want her to move with it. How's that feel? A little tighter? A little bit tighter. All right. How about that? That's better. Okay. Things to note. When you put on any kind of a buckle or a belt system that has a blowout buckle on it, we don't want a big long tether. They come long because they're designed for all shapes and sizes. When you put it into service for you, you want that tether to be about, about the length of a finger. Okay. You want to cut it at an angle, take a lighter, melt it off, and make sure it's nice and smooth so it'll pull through that buckle very cleanly. This one here, we'll just leave it for now. So we're all mounted up. It's not impeding your PFD. It's right on your hip. Does that feel pretty good? Yeah, it feels nice and snug. All right, so now, before we're ready to go in service, she blows off this RSS right now. It's not attached to anything. So we'll get you to turn around, Sandra. And on the back, we have our RSS tether coming out of the, the hind end here and we're going to attach that to our quick release system on our PFD. If we do get caught up in the river and we're hanging on to this, we don't want to lose it. It's there to help and help us survive a, a big swim or an entrapment or entanglement. But if we do need to jettison it, just like our rescue leash, we want to be able to deploy it by pulling our blow it buckle. So we'll just get you to undo your buckle here. We'll pull out the belt off the PFD and we're going to properly load it into the back on this uh, kayaker PFD. It's got a bit of a trap buckle here to make sure that it stays in the center of the back. We're basically going to line up the two two inch D-rings alongside each other so that whether we need our extrication leash or we need the RSS blown away, they're both going to release at the same time. Give me a moment here to thread this. There was a lot of R&D put into the length of the tether on the RSS. It's very important that when it gets deployed, it's long enough that we can maneuver the horseshoe shape into a swimming position around our waist, but also not far enough away that we can't grab onto it. 
So we'll get this threaded in. Into our rescue buckle, you can see there's a stainless steel square ring there. So, one quick check here to make sure it's all clean. D-ring stacked, strap, everything's free. All right, so I think we're ready to demonstrate deploying the RSS, but before we do that, we wanna just have a quick walk through it. She's done this a few times, so she knows how to pull on it. Remember that, that little jerk ball right at the end of the tether is what we wanna grab. And it's a bit of a funny motion, it's not a natural one. You don't pull down, you wanna pull it straight out as hard as you can. If it doesn't deploy or you can't get it to go, it may be pinched with the PFD or possibly the bag rotates because it's not the belt isn't on tight enough. Then if you can get it around, get your free hand in there, grab onto it and pull. But as you'll see, Sanders should be able to deploy it with a quick jerk to the tether. Are you ready? Ready to go. Let's have a go. Actually, I will mention before we pull it, we're not in a lake, a creek or a river. We're in ambient temperature that's quite warm two CO2 cylinders in there, when they deploy, all that CO2 comes out really fast. Comes out fast, it creates ice. There's no water to create a thermal sink to pull that coldness away. So it will deflate a little slower than it would actually in the water. So when it inflates here, it will deflate quite quickly, and then the last bit will get quite hard. Take a few more seconds. In the water, it's much faster. Ready? Let's go. Yeah, let's do it. So you can see it's a little bit slower, but as I talk here, it's gonna firm right up. The tether's just long enough that no matter which way she reaches, whether she's foot and trapped or swimming, she should be able to reach around, grab onto that red strap on the outside, bring it into the swimming position, and hang on and get ready for a swim, okay? You turn around here, you can see we're still attached, everything's nice and cleanly deployed, and by the time we get back out to the front here, turn around, you can see it's really starting to stiffen up here in this uh, warm room. And just like that, hang on if you're entrapped or entangled, feet out the back, get into a nice swimming position, get yourself to shore.